Herringbone is a fun embroidery stitch that will make a long line pretty quickly. So today I'm gonna to show you how to stitch a herringbone stitch and give you ideas for when to use it in your next embroidery project. Welcome to EBITDA Studio. My name is Elizabeth and I help you make beautiful things in quilting, pujagi, and embroidery. So herringbone is a stitch. It's kind of like a cross stitch. It has stitches that go on diagonal and they cross over each other. And we can see in this house embroidery, I've used this as a border all the way around the edge. So it's fun anytime you want to put a border or a dividing line in an embroidery piece. It's also commonly used in crazy quilting. So the quilting where you have just random pieces, all different kinds of fabric, and they're stitching over top of the seams. Herringbone is a common stitch in that type of stitching. It can also be used for uh, flower stems or for lettering, anywhere you want a decorative line, but not a smooth straight line, more jaggedy textured line. Herringbone is a good option. Herringbone is fun and easy to do, and here's how you stitch it. Because herringbone is a wide stitch, you might find it easier to mark two lines on your fabric as reference points. If you just want to go freehand, feel free to do this as well. So bring the needle to the front of the fabric at the edge of one line, and for this stitch, we're working from left to right. On the lower line, take a little back stitch, then come back up to the top line and take another back stitch, leaving a space between the stitches. Continue alternating back and forth, taking stitches above and below each other. And you can see that these stitches are cross over each other. Feel free to experiment and play around with the spacing between the stitches. Sometimes you might want wide spaces between the stitches and other times you might want no space. You can even have the crossbars overlap. So there it is. You can see there's some variety to how you stitch it. You can mark the lines or you can just stitch it freehand. And no matter how you do it, it's going to look great. So have fun using herringbone in your next embroidery projects. For more embroidery tutorials, patterns, and inspiration, be sure to check out evadastudio.com.